Hey Lily. What? Guess what mommy's doing today? What? She's getting a colonoscopy. What does that mean? Oh, that's when they stick a tube up your butt. And it's got a camera on it. Do you want to get a colonoscopy? No? You don't want someone to stick a camera up your booty? <laughs> <laughs> pleasure of getting a colonoscopy in two days. So tomorrow I start my liquid diet, so I had my last supper today of <laughs> grandma, grandma's homemade stuffed shells. And now we're gonna go over to DQ and get a little treat there and uh, get ready, make some jello for tomorrow and <laughs> get ready. Awesome. And I'm gonna do it with you, babe, because I love you. I'm gonna do the liquid diet with you. Just so you know, I won't do it with you. <laughs> <too cold. laughs> Are you gonna do also the uh, all the medicine too? The, the horrible, you know. No, I'm gonna releasing of everything. No, I'm no. gonna let you poop. No. But I'm gonna do the liquid diet for you. We're gonna do it together, so that way I'm not rubbing it in your face. Oh, okay. Because I love you. But Grandma made Yankee for tomorrow. I know. I'll save it for Friday. <laughs> Don't tell Grandma. <laughs> no. <laughs> Alright, Laura, what'd you get? Mmm. Amazingness. <laughs> I got a frosted animal cracker blizzard. Ooh. So good. Awesome. Part of their summer collection, right? You get vanilla ice cream with sprinkles. Oh. Is that good ice cream? Mm -hmm. Do you like your ice cream, Lily? What did you get? I got the vanilla because Sunday was sprinkled in it. Ooh, yum. Daddy, what did you get? I got an frosted animal cookie blizzard with cookie dough inside of it. Just because I had to have both. Come, come with me. We're going to do an episode today, the colonoscopy edition. We're gonna be baking today Jello, and we can't have red or green, so we picked blue. <laughs> Why can't you have red or green? Cause then they think it's bleak. <laughs> so we have brought our water to a boil, and we're gonna be pouring in our gelatin and stirring it. Make sure to stir. So it evenly dissolves. There we go. Doesn't that look scrumptious? <laughs> you know, the natural flavor of berry blue. Oh, awesome. Yeah, see, it's natural. It comes from berries. Yeah, and specifically underneath that it, it says artificially flavored. <laughs> oh, too so, bad. I'm going to be adding two more cups. Ooh, two more cups of water, cold water, to this and then putting it in my containers to chill overnight for breakfast. Yum. So are you excited that you've been on Weight Watchers and now you're gonna go on an all liquid diet and then you're gonna poop your brains out? You're gonna lose so much weight. I am gonna have a pretty awesome <laughs> idea. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna make all those people at Weight Watchers jealous. I know. And <laughs> to top it all off, because we're dealing with COVID-19 right now, I got to go have a COVID test today. Oh. If you ever want to experience what it feels like for somebody to poke your brain with a stick, go get a COVID test. <laughs> okay. And we'll pour this into my containers and chill it in the refrigerator overnight. Scrum delicious. option. <laughs> So it is day one of my all liquid diet and it is noon now so I get to take my two uh, stool softeners and then I get my uh, wonderful lunch of Italian ice. Ooh. Yes. And I had blue jello for breakfast 
cream and a cup of tea because I can't drink coffee without cream. And it had a vitamin water, so. <laughs> yeah, because you can't have dairy, right? No dairy. <laughs> no. So how is your, how's your liquid diet going? It sucks. I hate it. But I did have coffee. That sucks. I hate that. <laughs> Colonoscopy log. It is 7.30. I started my prep at 6 o'clock and we have success. And I've been hungry all day long because, you know, blue jello, applesauce, and, you know, all the Gatorade you can drink can't quite fill you. And I've realized that the only thing to make you not starve or not feel so hungry is drinking 64 ounces of Gatorade in a two hour span. Then you just have to pee constantly. Tip. Um, fun times and uh, fun times still to come. Alright, so we're here at the hospital ready for the big day. You excited? <laughs> you had a pretty rough night last night. Yeah. I uh, almost passed out. I think it was the combination of way too much sugar and then no sugar. And then also I didn't drink enough water. Well, you're not telling the whole story. Basically, you were pooping your brains out and you almost passed out on the toilet. And then I heard this banging. I was downstairs and you were upstairs. And I had to come upstairs to see what was going on. And then you were said, go get me some vitamin one water now. <laughs> You don't look too happy. No, I'm kind of tired. David did not sleep well last night. I know, it sucked. Ugh. All right, well after this, maybe we could do something fun. Mmm, pancakes. <laughs> All right, Laura, you're out. How do you feel? So groggy. I bet, you sound groggy. Yeah. Does your butt hurt? <laughs> That's good. So the doctor told me that you probably shouldn't eat anything spicy, um, probably nothing too greasy, and I know you have been waiting for so long, so where do you want to go eat? I'm on Amigos. Oh, okay. Sounds good. We can go get some Amigos. The Mexican restaurant. Uh, hopefully that'll be good on your stomach. <laughs> yeah, Alright. Well, they also told me that you're supposed to take it easy today for the next yeah. 24 hours, and yeah. that you are not supposed to make any big decisions, so here's what I think. I think you should make all the decisions today, and then we'll film it. It'll be lots of fun. <laughs> My decision is going to be to Netflix and chill. Oh, all right. Sounds good. Man, that was a crazy long wait. We got here at 8 a.m., and it is now 2 o'clock. It is crazy how long we had to wait. Yeah, he said he got backed up. They overscheduled him procedure itself is only like 15-20 minutes, but just the wait getting there. And the anesthesia was kind of crazy. Do they like count down? No. It is nothing like what you see on TV. Grey's Anatomy, I am disappointed in you know, <laughs> in your reality. <laughs> no. She literally just injected something into my IV and said, okay, now we're going to take deep breaths. And I did, and I was... I don't even remember being out. Wow. And then I remember the nurse talking, and I woke up, and I was in the post-op room. I haven't eaten for two days, so we're going to cut and go eat. All right, let's go eat. Manjamo! Manjamo. Man, girl, you just started eating, and I came in here, and it's almost gone. I'm hungry. <laughs> I bet. Blue jello doesn't hold you over. <laughs> Alright, well, hopefully you don't have to do this for a while longer. That's right. Your lips to God's ears. <laughs> so, uh, do you have any advice for people prepping for their colonoscopy? Make sure you drink enough water. Oh, yeah. Don't get dehydrated. Don't get dehydrated. <laughs> Other than that, it's not that bad. Blue Gatorade, I'm telling you. People are like, oh, the drink's horrible. The drink's horrible. Blue Gatorade. Covered it all. All right. Well, thanks for joining us for Laura's colonoscopy. Bye.